off you go, go and see him. He's asking for your hand, said the countess coldly. It seemed to Natasha, go on, off you go. Her mother murdered, murmured with a mixture of sadness and disapproval, and she gave a deep sigh as her daughter ran off. Natasha had no recollection of entering the drawing room as the as she came in and caught sight of him. She stopped short, this stranger, as he suddenly become everything to me. She asked herself and her her answer was intagious intagious yes he has he alone is dear to me more than anything in the world prince andre looked down as he advanced towards her i fell in love with you the moment i first saw you may i hope he glanced up at her and was struck by the solemn look on her passionate face and a face, a face, a face that seemed to say, why do you ask? What's the point in feeling debate, debateful when you can't possibly know? What's the point? In talking, when the words can't express your feelings, she came a little nearer and stopped. He looked at her hand and kissed it. Do you love me? Yes, yes, said Natasha, with something new to and to and pay it. She gave a deep sigh, then another. Then the sighs came faster and faster until she burst into sobs. What is it? Is there anything wrong? Oh, I am happy, she answered, smiling through her te tears. She went closer, thought for a second, as through wondering whether all was, the was really happening, and then kissed him. Prince Andre held her hand. He felt no trace of his former love for her. Over his inner being, gone was the former desire, dismay, devotion, and willingness to trust and the hard, sweet taste of duty that must bind him to her forever. This whole new, new feeling may seem been less glorious and potential, but it was stronger and more serious than before. Did your mama tell you cannot happen f for a year, said Prince Andre, still gazing into her eyes. It's this really me, slip of a girl that everyone used to call me. Natasha was thinking, am I really a wife from now on? The equal of, the equal of this nice, clever man that hardly knows someone that my father looks up to. It's, it's, it, is it really true? Is it really true that how I can't go on tr treating life like a joke? That now I'm a grown-up woman. Now I'm fully responsible for every word and every action. What did he ask me? No, she answered without having understood his question. Please forgive me, he said. Prince Andre. But you're so young. I've had so much experience, I'm afraid for you. Nat Natasha concentrated hard on 
what he was saying in the meaning of his words. Hard as that year will be for me, deploying my happiness continued. Prince Andre, you will use that time to make sure you know your own mind. I am asking you to make me happy a happy man in a year's time, but you are free and we shall keep our engagement secret. And if you were to find out, you won't really love me. Or if you fell in love with said Prince Andre with a full smile, why are you saying all this? I love you since the day you first came to Org or or drag or tragno or or tragno she said certain he was telling the truth in a year you will learn all about yourself a whole year natasha burst out realizing for the first time that the wedding was to be delayed for a year. But why, but why a year? Why wait a year? Prince Andre began to explain the reasons for the delay. Natasha wasn't listening. Is there no other way? Ask, she asked. Prince Andre said nothing in reply, but the impossibility of changing this decision was written on his face oh that's awful it's absolutely awful cried natasha natasha cried suddenly breaking into sobs again i'll die if i had to wait a year it's impossible it's awful she glanced at her face at, at the face of her husband to be and saw his look of build wire mint and deep sympathy no it's all right i'll do anything she said suddenly in control of her tears i'm so happy she father her father and mother came in and gave the engaged couple her natasha's fiance there were no but truthful celebrations and no announcement was made of Natasha's engagement to Bolkonski. Prince Andre insisted on that. He said that since he was responsible for postponing the wedding, he ought to bear the whole burden of it. And, he, you know, he said that although he was born forever by his word, he did not want to buy Natasha and he wanted her to feel completely free. free.